So, we've been planning on an epic dev movie for long. Because I don't feel like making another boring personal development thing. I'm not, I'm not fun enough to entertain all of you. But, somebody decided to throw a party tonight in our apartment. So we're not getting to work till very late. What do you have to say for yourself? Bitch, you know you don't regret a damn thing. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <laughs> There's work to be done. Look at this place. Oh my god. This is our rock band mic stand. That's how we sing. Got the uh, throne going on here. Wow, this place looks like shit. Mm. Whatever, we're getting to work right now. <laughs> As you can see, we've consumed about every single beverage in the house. We're not exactly sure who paid last time, so I guess it's between Falco and Peter to decide that, so. Apparently, they're having a little duet. Winner pay, or loser pays. Alright, for those of you who don't know our second engine programmer, Alex has been working pretty hard lately. And by lately, I mean before Grand Theft Auto 4 came out. And I feel kind of bad that he's not here to uh, throw down with us, although I'm pretty sure he prefers it that way. I don't think he'd want to hang out with us. But, uh, I think I'd like to show off what he's doing, because I kind of feel bad also, because it's not a very fun job. First of all, he is working on the text box system which in case you're not looking or you're blind is extremely ugly like look at that do you know what any of that does because honestly I don't I have no idea I don't think he does either he's pretty much rewriting what I wrote and uh... yeah it's sad to say that I wrote that most of the engine is really clean and nice but this I don't this is a mistake I don't know what I was thinking or I think I was just so happy that it worked I just I don't know. I was going to go back and comment it. And I was like, oh, wait. I have no idea what I did. And it's ugly, and he's fixing it all up. And it might seem like a small task, but actually that's one of the most important things to be done at the moment. There's also a bunch of things that he's going to be adding, which are also very important. One thing is that he has to be able to easily create text box conversations from files. For example, the uh, conversations will be loaded from MPC files and item files, so I have to be able to pass a function, a file pointer, and it has to be able to uh, generate a conversation formatted, all that from those files. It has to be able to support special formatting characters, like uh, if you watch the old movies, I was uh, pleased that the color changing worked, you know, the Ocarina of Time style color formatting pausing, stuff like that. Allow automatic dialogue creation, like, for example, if I don't want to pass a file, what if it's something simple like, uh, you can't equip that. I need to be able to go, pop text box, you cannot equip that. Instead of being all like, pop, or start conversation, Oh my god, I can't type. It's like 6 in the morning. Oh well. You know, pass a conversation pointer. Uh, what else do you need? Bunch of variables, like whether you can exit it or not. And I'll say no. Color variables, formatting, just whatever. Just You need to be able to do this quickly for things that, you know, just default text. Uh, allow for multiple outcomes from choices is something that is very important. Uh, for example, uh, an NPC asks you, what is your opinion? You have the option of saying yes, or you have the option of saying no, and you move your little thing around and choose. And I want that to branch the conversation. I mean, obviously, it's not going to say the same thing. This isn't NES, but that's actually kind of hard, and it can get pretty complicated. But it's okay. We want our NPCs to be talkative and have 
very interesting things to say, which leads us to allowing for different text based on variables. Maybe an NPC will call you, I don't know, a prick if your alignment's really dark or shady or something. And if you're a really nice guy, maybe they'll be nice to you too on the game. Just based on different statuses, stat, stat I, whatever. And then wrap to Lua is another thing. What if like you trigger an event in Lua and it's like, you know, pop text box from Lua. I don't know. Um, a cutscene. And it has to be able to wrap to the C++, C++ text box system and show that, you know, pop that text. And really, I'm glad he's doing it because I don't want to do it. And I, re I know he'll do a much better job of it than I can, but I just thought I'd mention what all he's working on right now. It looks like very fun stuff. Alrighty. So Marcel, what have you been doing this entire time? It's 8.45 in the morning. And we've recently had the problem with this sheet right here. Uh, we've been sitting there splitting it into objects and tiles for a long time. And I got a little bored, so I decided to write myself a little program to do it for me. Here it is. You see this? We need it into 512 by 512 sheets and tiles. Okay? So I go into my little program, run it, let it load for a second, don't even ask, and ta-da! Here is the, here's the tiles, and there's the sheet that it split it into. See what it does to separate sheets from tiles? Notice that um, tiles are lacking in transparency, which is this ugly pink color, and these aren't. It, it for loops through every single tile on the whole entire sheet, and then it for loops through every single individual pixel, scans for the transparent color, and if it finds one, it knows it's an object. I'd say that's pretty badass. It took me, what, two seconds to sort all, let's see, what is that? I don't know, 400 plus tiles. Peter, what are you up to over here on the floor? Trying to make a level with all these tiles and objects. The new tiles? Yeah. And Marcel's program that, oh God. that split them all into tiles and objects has left out a few. Wait, it left out a few? Yeah. There's some that are just missing. I thought Marcel was like a genius. And he never made mistakes. Go around the level. I don't have much yet. I'm just seeing how things fit together. Oh, it's actually all that. That's it. That's impressive. That's it. Hmm. I shouldn't have asked you what you were doing. So, Peter, what are you doing here? I'm compiling all of these tiles into tile, the tile set, and Whoa, the you object forgot set. Pearl. Yeah, you forgot Pearl. <laughs> So why are you doing that? Because I forgot Pearl. <laughs> uh, so, Peter's going to be making a level today. Hopefully we'll show it off in a bit. Good luck with that. Uh, Look at right. how many tiles we have. Lucica's been with us for like, what, two weeks or something like that? I mean, 